Hey, thanks for having me out of your workout here in London. Happy to be here. How's things with you? You're, uh, you're over here, an Australian based currently in London, and uh, you've got a marathon coming up next week. We'll talk about that soon, but how's the training currently for, for yourself? Yeah, it's all been, it's all been good. Had a, had a few, um, had a few races recently. Yep. Been, um, did Manchester Marathon and Malaga Half Marathon, so yep. my first professional season, I guess, um, sort of here for a bit and racing and enjoying it, so yeah, it's been fun. So Manchester Marathon was the first race over here in Europe. Yeah. It was your second marathon yes. after Melbourne. Yeah. And you were on pace for a super quick time. You still ran a super quick time, but a couple of cramps got you at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, still learning, like, yeah. Yeah, still learning, like, I guess. The marathon's pretty different to anything else, like, I've done before, and, like, I guess it's good to make mistakes or, like, do things that like prepare you well for things in the future. So I mean, just rolling with it, like yep. just um, enjoying it. 66 low through the half you were, yeah, and then 66. you were. I got the feeling based on your Strava splits that you were tracking for a 211. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, the cramps got you. Do you. What are you? I mean, I guess as people listen to this, they probably know that I also struggle with muscle cramps. Yeah. Um, did you learn anything from that? Like, are you changing anything for this next marathon next weekend well, to try main, to prevent them? Or? I guess main things just like nutrition. Like, I um, I only got three out of my eight bottles. Like, I didn't really. I don't know. When you're sort of running and it's not like super hot, yeah, you're not like inclined to pick up a bottle. Or, like, it's easy to easy to forget not, about. Yeah, easy to forget. And then quickly regret. <laughs> Yeah. So I mean it was all going pretty well for two hours or something like that and then yeah. shit happens. Yeah okay. So the plan for the next one is to try to just make sure you get those bottles in? Yeah and just yeah. stay more relaxed. Just um... Yeah. We're in the middle of London City here trying to dodge traffic so... Actually, uh... we're that way. <laughs> yeah. Where are we heading by the way? We're going to Hyde Park. Hyde Park, okay. Yeah. For your last hard workout I guess? Yeah last. Before? Last hard workout before um... Copenhagen Marathon. Nice. Seven days from today. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Okay, a little bit easier to film here. Yeah. Um, so we've managed to hide. Yeah. This is one of the preferred parks that you train in when you're in London. Yeah, I mean, it's like the biggest like, central park. Like, yep. so close to the city, like, you can swim straight after a workout. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't get much better. Yeah. Honestly, like, the perfect setup. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll go right. Okay, cool. And so tell us a little about the ASICS event that happened uh, last weekend where you did a half marathon. Yeah, and no, the Essex event was super cool. It was like, yeah. I guess, um, I think what they did well was bring everyone together. Like, a lot of dudes from different countries, like, almost like that team kind of environment you get yeah. at college yeah. in America or like, um, <laughs> that's pretty much the only way you get it. But <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, yeah, just bring everyone together from like different like distances, different countries, walks of life. But, um, yeah and having them all like live together for like a week and, yeah. and race and um, give feedback to the shoe designers, yep. um, meet yeah. all the ASICS guys, like yeah. it was kind of good and like you felt like you're really part of the brand. Yeah, yeah. And you were doing a bit of running with Zane Robertson? Yeah, Is that right? yeah. a lot of running with Zane. Yeah, yeah. Actually, um, good guy. we were roommates as well and they, okay. put a, they put us in a room with only one bed as well, which is <laughs> A bit of a stitch up, but it was pretty wide. <laughs> Damn. He doesn't roll around too much. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, no fun. Raced, raced okay, like went out pretty hard. Yep. Um, and the plan was just from the start was for me and um, Kuhn to run together. Kuhn? Uh, you know uh, Kuhn Nert? <laughs> no, I don't. The okay. Belgian dude. Okay. I think that's how you say it. Okay. Oh, actually, now, yeah, now, yeah. You, yeah, now you say so. No, no. Um, yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Not so, just... So we're we're seven days out. So what is the plan for this, for this um, workout? That's uh, that is yeah your last hard one before yeah, Copenhagen. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna stash my tracksuit in the bush. Okay. Um, you can put it in my bag if you like. But yeah, I try, could do Either that. Way. Yeah. <laughs> um, then ten minute tempo into a hard mile. Okay. Um, straight into it or straight into it. So yep. like five uh, k should work, I guess. Yep. Um, and then you can do a little bit of Kenyan Far Lake, which is like two minutes hard, one minute uh, jog between. Okay. Uh, maybe like three to five times that. Okay. Let's see what, see you see what coach said in the text. Yep. Um, 
and then going to do another tempo and then finish with a mile um, and might uh, take two minutes before that last mile just to make sure I can get yeah. like a little bit uh, higher quality but yeah. yeah it's a perfect day and like it's super quiet around here so yeah. I reckon it's probably about 12 13 degrees I guess yeah yeah very little wind not too many people about yeah. okay so we've got 10 minutes straight into a mile hard yeah then we got uh, we'll check the phone to see how many blocks yeah. of two on one off for sure and then another 10 minute tempo yeah and yeah. then a quick break and then a mile hard yeah yeah okay Cool. And the tempo, just curious to know, are you monitoring that by heart rate or anything, or is this uh, purely by I field? mean, just sort of marathon pace, like... Yeah, okay. I mean, I'll, I'll do like going from heart rate. Um, actually, last year after my um, first uh, COVID vaccine, I had a bit of a heart thing, so... Okay. <laughs> been monitoring heart rate quite a lot, but... I mean, if you run X number of days a week for so many years, like, you do get pretty good at um, knowing what that threshold is. Yeah, for sure. Okay, and the shoe of choice today? Uh, the new Meta. It's the new Meta Speed Sky. This is actually yeah. the um, prototype colorway. Okay. Um, nice. But it's it's cool. I really like it. Yeah. Um, it's um, yeah. I mean, they've done. It's almost like the. I don't know. I don't want to compare it to too many other brands, but like yeah. I mean, it's almost like the Alpha Fly. You got like a lot in the midsole. Yeah. Um, especially in the forefoot. So like, where you're landing, like the idea is you sort of can land here and sort of spring straight off. Yep. Um. Yeah, I really like it. They've improved the upper, like the laces are good. Yep. Training okay. it barefoot and no blisters, so. Nice, okay. Yeah, yeah. Is that what you'll wear in the marathon next weekend? Yeah, yeah, I'll wear this in the marathon. Sweet. I mean, the edge is good as well. It's a little bit uh, lower profile. Okay. Probably more like a 10 and a half shoe, but. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. All right. that's cool. We'll get ready and we'll get filming on the workout. Okay, before we get started, I got one more question. We yeah. were talking in the warm up about your your love for music yeah, and how yeah. you listen to it as you go. That's definitely something that yeah, uh, yeah, for sure. I don't see much of. <laughs> so, what are we? Are you going to listen to anything today? Yeah, I'm going to listen to music. Hands, you're ready to go. I got my you're a big um, music fan. All your Strava logs are uh, yeah. uh, titles of songs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now I've got a good rock playlist. I'm going to okay uh, bring out today. A bit yeah. of Jimi Hendrix, a bit of Rolling Stones, some yeah. Leonard Skinner. So yeah. yeah, I love the way that you just run with your phone in your hand too. Got to make <laughs> rather than use headphones. Yeah. Okay. I mean, just whatever works. Say eh? like. Yeah, yeah. I think with running, like the main thing is just got to enjoy it because then you, it's going to be sustainable and you're going to want to do it for like yeah. the most amount of years. Yeah. And you said you do a lot of your training alone. Yeah. So, that's so much. Right. Yeah. I mean, I don't usually run straight into a hard effort, so it's will be a yeah, bit but different. The first ten is like marathon effort, right? The first ten sort yeah. of marathon yeah. effort. Um, yeah. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see how we go. Yeah. How we go. I guess it'll probably be around the three minute to three or five pace. Yeah, something we'll like that. Yeah, but no, then, nothing too strict. Yeah, and yeah. then hopefully, I mean, the main sort of goals of the session, I guess, just to feel good and like yeah. those two minutes in the middle, like if I know I'm ticking over well, like I know like everything's going well, and then hopefully run a decent last mile yeah. without breaking the bank before next week. <laughs> yeah, sure. Cool. Let's yeah. do it. Sweet as. Hopefully, the GPS is ready to go. We've got about 45 seconds left and we get straight into this mile hard, right? Oh yeah. No breaks? No breaks. Yeah, okay. So far been pretty flat, a little bit of rolling hills, but um, I think that's most of Hyde Park, right? Yeah, honestly. Yeah, yeah. After the mile, will you have a quick break before the fart lake or straight into that? I'll uh, we'll take like a minute or two. Yeah, okay. Just to sort of calm things down a little bit. Yeah, sure. Let the heart rate drop a bit.
That's where you used to finish off then, on the lake. Yeah, I don't that's think you had a swim, but... That's what we'll be <laughs> after. Yeah. I'll take a short break and get this in two minutes. Awesome. Yep. Yeah. Do you get a spill on the mile? Or we'll be looking at that later. We'll look at that later. <laughs> okay, cool. You program the workout into your watch beforehand, or are you just spinning it manually? And I'm terrible with technology. <laughs> yeah. I, actually, I've never worked out how to do that either. Nah. <laughs> I've never set the time to figure it out. But, yeah, I'm sure yeah. it's pretty straightforward. But yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I only just started using GPS as well. Okay. There's okay. always like a pet hate. Like, yeah. I just always much away from field lift. Okay. We're going to use this bike path to do the yeah. first one, then loop around. Yeah. Getting a bit busy. It is getting a little bit busy. A bit of Ramones we're getting through. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's Yeah. We're gonna loop back around and go down the road or? We'll go across the road there. Okay. So we'll just jog it over and start the wrap over. Okay. Yeah. We're heading out towards Buckingham Palace. Buckingham Palace. End of the London Marathon. Royalty. Yeah. Okay, so we're done with the Kenyan Fartlet. We had a little bit of a roadblock there with a path that they've just closed off the cyclists. But uh, you see, halfway through the workout, all good so far? Yeah, and that's yeah. taking a long while. Yeah, nice. Like, yeah. Keeping it chill, but like, I don't know, I'm not, not a lot of my workouts are like, we'll be at the track rolling like 20, like 400. Yep. But like, I like to make sure I'm getting uh, some sort of good top, top end speed stuff yep. during, um, during workouts with strides and some short reps. Sure. Um, on Friday I did like uh, 400, 8 by K, 2 by 4. Yep. Um, and so that was kind of my speed yep. workout. And now <laughs> this is kind of the, the tempo stuff. Yep. Sure. Now we're going to go back into hide and yeah. hit this 10 minute tempo. Oh yeah. yeah. It looks busy that way. Yeah, it's definitely getting so busy So maybe now. let's go we go down that way, yeah, where you do the first two minute rep. Yeah. yeah. Ready to hit it. Let's go. You're going to again go straight into this mile with no rest, or? We'll take a minute and take a minute. sure yep. get the legs ticking over a little bit. Yep, sounds good. Okay, second 10 minutes ever done. Oh yeah. Yeah. One mile to go. Yeah, okay. Which way are we going to head? We'll go back that way. <laughs> You're definitely getting a good practice of, uh, of the start, Honestly. the first 500 meters and dodging people here. Actually, I'm actually impressed at how calm you've uh, kept during it because there's a lot of traffic here. <laughs> it's quieter than, yeah, yeah. quieter than Circuit King. Okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's been fun. Yeah. I mean, I can't even be disincentized with all the cars. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm so used to it. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Turn around. Let's go this way. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, what's the song of choice for the last mile? The boys are back in town. <laughs> Ken Lizzie. 
Of course. Yeah. Okay. That'll be good. Hopefully just get the ball chicken over a little bit. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Hit farming as they say. Yep. Forward. So I guess this would probably be around like 10k pace yeah. slash effort. Yeah. 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 I mean like it's kind of good running in a path that's like hilly because like it's not all just pace based yep. or like depth based more so. Yeah, it's like it's nice because I mean that's all marathons and shit anyway. Yeah, yeah. Running on the roads. Yeah. <laughs> Copenhagen, pretty yeah, flat yeah. course. I'm actually not familiar. I know the half marathon's flat. But... Yeah, I'd imagine so. Yeah. I don't think Denmark's known for its hills. No, no, no. no it should be. Uh, <laughs> I think it's going to be a pretty good course. Yeah. Uh, right, fingers crossed. Let's hit the last one, shall we? Quick one. I had a case split on my watch pile, it was 246. Woo. So we'll check the splits a little bit later, but uh, thank you, Joe. It was handy. Yeah, thanks, man. Cool. Woo. Just a little short warm down. Yeah, yeah. Did like, just a bit 8k and a bit warm up, so. Yep. Just a little. You probably get 20 shuffle. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. You log everything on Strava too? Yeah, yeah, all on Strava. All your posts uh, titled song names that oh, you're yeah. enjoying. We'll put a song to it. Are you going to run out at some point of song names? Or? Yeah, endless. <laughs> endless. And then we'll recycle. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, so today, feeling good? Yeah, honestly, I yeah, felt yeah. really good. Yeah. I um, Yeah, because I sprayed my ankle in Spain, like, yeah. I was meant to be running Prague yeah. right now, which would have yeah. been, honestly, like, kind of annoyed. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, another week post race, like, yeah. probably a good thing anyway. Um, yeah, but honestly, ankle felt good. Like, I felt good. Okay. Just like a little nice. How many days do you have to take off with the ankle? <laughs> no, all in the Ultra G. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. no, um, no days off. But I mean, I just had to get. It. it was like, um, yeah. It's just one of those things. that's like, I was happy to jog on it and then just ice and chill the rest of the day. Just. Yeah. Yeah. yeah cool. Awesome. Okay, awesome. I'm gonna jog back to where you're based. But um, yeah, yeah. yeah, we'll publish this workout before the before the marathon. So it is. So uh, people can follow along. Yeah, yeah. And uh, let's hear some. I don't know if you want to say it on camera, but what's the what's the ultimate goal? I mean, honestly, like the world champs time would be. 2:11:30. Yeah, 2:11:30 would be awesome. Like, yeah. I mean, I know I can run it, but I mean, it's been. As we said off camera at the start, there the marathon's. Uh, it's a cruel mistress. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't uh, doesn't always go exactly to plan, especially yeah, yeah. the last ten k. But it's, I mean, um, like if I have a good yeah. week this week, like I know it's I know it's in there somewhere, but like yeah, yeah. as well, like I'm young, like I know. Yeah. I've got probably ten years before I'm almost peak. Yeah. So there's not like, too many twenty four year olds lining up for marathons aiming at this time. So uh, no, like I mean, aiming at the standard that is. Yeah. yeah. No, I just yeah, enjoy it. And it's fun. And yeah. Fun as well. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so we've got a recovery. Straight after the workout, little dip. We have a dip in there. You're 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 a you're a bit into swimming. Oh, swimming, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're a cap. <laughs> What's your Instagram say? Something about a swim club. Oh yeah, swim CEO club. Or something. Swim club. I'm the CEO. Of swim club. <laughs> um, do you actually do yeah. swimming for cross training, or is it? Uh, I mean, a yeah. tiny bit, but I swim every day. Just um, yeah. just getting in the water. Yeah. I mean, swim club is like back in COVID when all all our dudes were back in Sydney. We had um. We had like such a good squad. It was yeah. like uh, Josh Phillips, uh, Cam Griffith, Ed Trippers, yeah. uh, Kieran Tall, myself, Tom DeCano came to a few, yeah, um, and like and more dudes as well. Like we had yeah. a big group. Um, we got some guys in America and stuff as well. Yeah. Um, and yeah. so whenever we're together, we're swim club and we got a good group. But yeah. other than that, um, <laughs> training solo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, it's good. It's so good for recovery, like hydrotherapy, like. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've only ever had one injury, and I'm sure like a lot of it comes down to sort of uh, looking after my body yeah. with like swimming. And I know a lot of guys are sort of uh, against sort of ice bathing and going uh, too cold and too often. But I mean, if it's um, 
It's not exactly ice bath. He's just no, swimming no. in. It's a good flush out. Is it cold? We'll see you in a minute, I guess. <laughs> yeah, <it's> not too bad. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. 